Well, currently, uh, most of the uh, commercially available uh, wearable or uh, portable ECG devices uh, uh, engage uh, both your hands for the ECG detection, as normally we do for the standard lead E1 ECG. And this could be a limitation. Um, I mean, uh, what if symptoms happen if you are running or you are driving? Um, in this way, try to investigate novel anatomical sites for the ECG detection. I mean, in this case, the left linear region could be really important to develop new kinds of uh, ECG devices, uh, leaning at least one and three. Things, for example, to the earbuds. And um, uh, I mean, this peculiarity, uh, leaving at least one and three, uh, could make these future devices more uh, user friendly, uh, shareable with other users, and uh, why not could offer longer, long term ECG monitoring. Yes, well, uh, this was a spontaneous validation study performed on uh, 32 healthy volunteers. And um, for each volunteer, we perform an ECG using the live core cardiac mobile ECG monitor in two steps. Uh, first, uh, we use a standard modality, so the fingers of the right hand and the left hand. Second, we perform the ECG in a modified modality using the left linear region instead of the right hand, so connecting the left linear region to the negative pole of the right hand. What about our findings? Uh, we successfully collected all the 74 ECG. Uh, no differences were found in ECG detection by the device. I mean, all the QRS were exactly and clearly identified by the uh, device. And uh, the diagnosis was normal rhythm, so sinus rhythm, both by the device and by the two cardiologists in the blind testing. Moreover, we used a linear regression analysis and we discovered that uh, there's a good correlation uh, between some standards, ECG parameters, um, I mean the P-wave amplitude, QRS amplitude, or the intervals, PR, QRS, QT, and cardiac frequency. In other words, uh, um, using this analysis, we discovered that both ECG modalities provide exactly the same information. Yes, well, we are now conducting further studies for, um, to validate this uh, new ECG modality, also in patients affected by cardiarrhythmia. I mean, atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, renta, supraventricular tachycardia. There are many possibilities. Uh, but the goal of uh, future ECG devices using this new ECG modality um, detection is the same of the other currently available. I mean, early detection of atrial fibrillation for undiagnosed population or for for AF management, for example, after an IFI procedure ablation. Well, um, as I said before, uh, um, this um, new kind of SCG uh, modality um, could uh, mm, mm, could let us to develop a new kind of uh, ECG devices, probably more user-friendly and more uh, shareable with other users and that could offer long-term ECG monitoring. Um, uh, moreover, I think that uh, this peculiarity, living at least one and three, could be important not only for patients but also for other kind of persons, uh, I mean uh, work drivers or sports people. Finally, I think that uh, the Ionian region uh, could be really an anatomical stable uh, region. Uh, moreover, um, free of body hair, that in um, some cases could be a problem because they could interfere with EGG detection, like in, in some um, anatomical sites, for example, the wrist or the chest.